Hey everybody, this is Jay back with another video. This is going to be, as the title says, um, my thoughts and review on the uh, newer OLED Switch dock. Um, the reason I got this is because I have an old school Nintendo Switch, the original, right here. Um, and I got to put out some information about these uh, so you guys know for later. If you ever decide you want to switch to the newer dock as well. Um, the only difference on port wise really as you can see in this one that's your standard switch dock with a USB-C, USB-A and an HDMI port this is the switch OLED dock one major difference is that but uh, as you can see this one I wanted the Ethernet port and the OLED dock is the only one that comes with the Ethernet port already in it. As you can see, it's the USB-C for power, then the HDMI, and then the Ethernet port. Okay, so that's one major difference right there in this little back panel. Obviously, it isn't hinged like the original. As you can see, this one just sits in the two little grooves like this. The original Nintendo Switch is compatible with the OLED switch dock with some caveats okay if you're like me and you have say a case on your Nintendo switch because you didn't want it getting scratched up and all that sort of stuff unfortunately it will not fit in the new switch our new switch dock it will only fit in the original with a case as you can see goes in nice and easy fits right in plugs in without an issue go to this dock it does not fit without stretching it out of shape I would believe and there is uh, an easy way to explain this and tell you what's actually happening because do both of the docks are the same size and same width but the problem you run into see those little bumps there on this new one it's more towards the outside as where the switch uh, original switch dock is they're in a little bit more these ones are more to the outside so those little bumps on the inside are the reason why you can't have a case in the new OLED switch dock um, with the original Nintendo switch I can't say for the OLED switch I don't have one but that's the problem with that. That these little nubs are in a different spot. Because basically the switches, the switch docks are the same size. I already measured with a caliper the same inner diameters between the nubs there and they're both 16 millimeters roughly I got a cheap caliper so I don't really rely on it much but you can zero it and stuff but the new switch dock if you actually want to have a older switch in it you have to physically take your case off which I will show you that it'll actually fit if I take the case off, if I can get it off with one hand. Yep, there we go. Alright. Now you can see this the case is off the Nintendo Switch. This is the new one. Fits right in, as you can see. I've already used it for a while, so I know it has good communication with it. Even though my um controllers still have the thing on it, that don't matter. They still have the rubber sleeving on them. But as you can see, it fits in there perfectly fine, but without the case on it. With a case on this one, those divots sit on this line for the switch. They sit on the edge of the screen right here for the original switch dock. For this dock, those lines, those little bumps on the inside, actually sit 
on the outside edge, so over here more. I guess the reasoning why they ended up doing that is A, because it's meant for the other switch, but it does work on this one, but on the original one, um, without a screen protector, which I have, the dock could actually scratch your screen going in and out if you did it enough. So that's maybe one of the reasons why they pushed these two little nubs over to the side. But see, it goes all the way to the edge. Instead of where these ones are not to the edge. One more time on that one around. But as you can see, all the way to the edge, there's barely any anything on this edge over here. And you look here, that one is so much further away than the newer one, the OLED dock. Like I said, I wanted this dock because of the Ethernet port right there. But other than that, if you don't use a case and you're just going to use a screen protector, this is perfectly fine to use. Um, it may scratch the back up of your switch, but I've had mine for quite a while. Alright guys, if you have any thoughts or concerns, definitely let me know. Have a good one.